We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Sanders first carry of the game. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Sanders, the ball carrier. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Sanders, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Joseph on the tackle. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. Caught by the tight end, Hurts. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. And he connects with Hurts. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in their history, but what a start to this game. They're going for it. Yeah, a lot of people might say reckless, but they got it. One for one on fourth down here early in the game. A good, good pick up there, 22. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Buying time to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Joey Bosa able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. From the gun, it's Hurts. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And the throw there going to be incomplete. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Cameron defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. 
Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there. Check it up nicely. Good English on that punt. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 11-yard line. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. First down, Chuck. we're scoreless after one. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down to the 20-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. But first down, Hurts escaping the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Second down, here's Hurts. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Flush to his right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Eagles, they take a 3 nothing lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. The Charger drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
That one good for 13 and a Charger first. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 44-yard line. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, the, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. First down, Los Angeles. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, Chargers. They'll run here with Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Second and one at the Eagles' 11-yard line. On the ground, it's Eckler. They give them two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers have taken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Taken about seven yards deep. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. 
and they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. Now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Second and 10, here's Herbert once more. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Herbert. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Here is Eckler. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And down to the 16-yard line. That one 28 yards on the ground. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yeah. Backside guys, Man. That, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. And the Chargers are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Kelly to try to punch it in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Just shy of the goal line. And they'll try again down here with Kelly. And this time he is in. Yes. Joshua Kelly taking it in. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. Lining up for the extra point. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it. Keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll go again with Sanders. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. The ball carrier. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Here's Hurts to throw. Forced out to his left. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked by Nick Vigil. He was pretty good a year ago in college, getting outside of the pocket and making plays, but it's a different story here in the NFL. Well, in college, when he broke out of the pocket, his receivers often knew what to do in a scramble drill, and defenders weren't quite as adept at that. In the NFL, they work on that as well. They realize once he's out of the pocket, you can knock a receiver down. You can take him out of the play that way. You can make sure you hunt him up and make sure that you have him covered downfield. They do a much better job of it. He's got to learn that the speed has changed on this level. A handoff. It's Eckler. 
And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. They'll run on first down. Kelly. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Five brings up second and five at the Eagles' 8-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Second and five from the eight. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second down. It's Kelly. And he is. 